Hi Scorpios, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Now, this is a general reading, so not all the messages here are going to resonate with you, but if it does, just claim it 100%. Now, Scorpio, this is your sun sign, right? I need you to find out where your other sign placements are. Where is your moon? What is your rising? Where is your Venus? Google free birth chart calculator. Put in your birth details. Find out where these placements are. For example, if your Venus is in Capricorn, go to my channel, watch the Capricorn reading, and I guarantee you, you will get additional messages there. Now, I'm just going to start by asking this card just wants to follow. What two cards? I just want to ask what Scorpio needs to know right now, urgently, okay? For my Scorpios. All right. They just flew out. Okay. So, tell you the cards I got now. Hmm. Okay. This is about love. Love matters. I won't be surprised if the Two of Cups comes out. This is about love. There's something about love. This reading could, oops, perhaps be about love. Now, catch your breath. You know, when I see this card, catch your breath, it's either somebody is doing too much. Or, you know, when do you have to catch your breath? When you're running. Ask what you're running behind somebody. Are you chasing somebody? Putting this out there. Inner truths. It's like the hermit card where somebody is going within with that lamp and trying to understand their behaviors. I think there is somebody here who's obsessed. Look, Scorpio, you are the sign of obsessions, okay? Um, you're a very, very deep, sexually charged sign. And when you fall in love, you fall madly, deeply in love. Some of you are obsessed with somebody. I think some of you are chasing someone. And this is in love. You need to go within and understand why you're doing this. You have to face some of your inner truths. Now, this is also a card. If I take this as a Virgo card, this could be a card of somebody going and looking for information. But I think there's somebody here who's soul searching. Be open to new experiences and possibilities. Some of you have convinced yourself that this person is your one. And you're, I think there's somebody chasing someone here. It's a bountiful harvest for you bountiful harvest for you, Scorpio, but you need to understand that you are doing too much in a situation. Now, this was a mini message for someone. Scorpio, this reading, okay, can be applied to you or you can flip and reverse the roles. Apply this reading to the person or situation you're thinking about when you come across this reading. The cards are not gender-based. Go with the energy. Put yourself in your roles or the gen energy of the energy that I'm describing. And on the other hand, if you do know the zodiac sign of the person you're asking about when you've come across this reading, go to my channel, watch that reading. There is no tax to snoop on someone. And I think the Virgo card is here. Some of you are doing that. Some of you are doing that. Somebody's obsessed here. You're running behind somebody, chasing. Okay, Scorpio, let's go. This card just wants to come out. And I'm going to just take it. Okay. Let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Let me keep this here. Whoopsie. Scorpios. Any clear guidance for my Scorpio? There's one more. There we go. Okay. You won't, this card too, you won't believe who's out here. Told you, I felt this energy of the hermit. Somebody is going within here to understand what they're doing and why. This is also a card of snooping. Somebody could be checking somebody out or trying to get to the bottom of something. But I think this is also soul searching, huh? You could be dealing with a Virgo. The card that wanted to come out was this one, the page of cups. Now, this cups are your emotion. It's also a card of having a crush. Do you have a crush on someone? Oh, look, you can flip this reading to somebody who perhaps has a crush on you. This is also the bringer of good messages about health, 
um, pages are always messengers. Now, this could also be a child that somebody has, Pisces, a dreamer, sweet, innocent, um, head in the clouds. But I think somebody has a crush on someone here. There is somebody who has a crush on someone. Now, I'll tell you the two characters that I have here. The Knight of Cups. This is your energy. Now, this is one of the slowest moving nights. He stopped in his tracks. He has this cup of love that he wants to give somebody, but he's taking his time. He's almost thinking if he should come in or no. It's like, you know, when you've been burnt in love, Scorpio, uh, you're very slow to move in. But when you move in, oh my God, that cup, it's filled with emotion. Somebody, and this is obsessive. Are you watching somebody from the sidelines and you have a big crush on them? And I think there is an age difference here. Could be dealing with a queen. This is a knight. There is an age difference here. There is an age difference here. Is somebody here crushing on somebody who's older? And this, this individual, this queen of pentacles, okay, she's a minor arcana of the empress. This is somebody who is earth, Taurus, Virgo. Virgo is pretty strong in your reading so far, Scorpio. Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. Somebody who has money, somebody who's created abundance, very motherly. Are some of you crushing on somebody who's older to you and who's a motherly type of a person? I just wonder, maybe she has a child? But I think there is somebody here who is crushing. And is that you? Because see, when the Knight of Cups comes out, okay, Cups is water. This is your energy. You're showing up as somebody younger in this reading, Scorpio. But you're showing up as somebody who's obsessed. Um, who's obsessed. This is, you're obsessed with love. You're not moving in fast, but you have this deep obsession with somebody. Are you, um, not, not stalking, but are you crushing on somebody? Why am I feeling that there's someone here who's just crushing on somebody who has this huge, you know, like they make your heart beat stop when you see them. But this is also gossip. This is also good news coming in. This is also a small cup. I don't know. There's somebody you're crushing. Perhaps you're chasing somebody. I feel this and there's a lot of emotion. A lot, lot. Now, who's been staying up at nights awake? Is this you, Scorpio? Because you're stressing about something. You're not able to sleep. And I'll tell you why I feel this. Because there is competition. Are you competing for somebody who's older to you? Who's perhaps more well-established than you? There is, there is competition here. This is conflict. When I see it, and wands are your passion. This is fire. But five is a number of imbalance, right? So there is some kind of a fight going on here with people, competition, disagreements, conflict. Somebody is trying to fight to win somebody. Is that what is keeping you awake? Look, I think someone here is crushing on someone who's older to them. Now, the other two cards, the three other cards, I really do not like. One is the card of juggling. What's going on here? I'm going to see if there are more characters. They, there is some juggling going on here. There could be somebody with ups and downs of money. But then I have this card here again of conflict. Look, there are two cards here of conflict. One is like com competition, you know, between people to win someone. There, it's almost like she's the prize. Are some of you fighting? over, you know, trying to win somebody's affections or win that prize. But there are many people in this business. Let me tell you, if you're thinking that you are the only one, you're wrong. There are other people. And when I have this, somebody doesn't have your back. This energy, you know, again, the five, there, is an Im there are a lot of imbalances here. That's why this catch your breath. You're doing too much. And this is about love. You're doing too much to please somebody because you have this obsession, you're crushing on someone. My God, I think this woman, I mean, it's almost like the sun shines, you know, when you see her. There's somebody around you that you're crushing on. Again, remember, reverse this. Could be a cross-watcher's read. 
So if you're a cross watcher watching this for a Scorpio, namaste and welcome. There's a lot of fights here. There's a lot of conflict here and somebody here does not have your back. I think you've been juggled. You think, I wonder if this, this woman is playing you by telling you, you know, you're the only one. You're not. They've got more people. They have kept their options open while you are here obsessing and staying awake all night, worrying, not able to sleep. You have your heart set on somebody and you're crushing really hard. Now I have the magician here. This is Gemini Road. This is, you know, somebody who has all the elements and they are creating magic. This is about manifestation. Maybe you wanted to manifest. I feel there is somebody trying to manifest someone here in a relationship. What they do not know is that there is competition. But this is also a card of manipulation. Trickster. I hope you're not being tricked by an older person, by an older woman. Just putting this out there. Let's see what else we get. Very interesting. Catch your breath. Scorpio, temper yourself down. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. You need to go within. Be open to new experiences and possibilities because there is a bountiful harvest for you. You are obsessed with somebody. You have this crush, but they have other options. Let's see what cards come out. Let's see if the, you know, seven of cups comes out. I think it will. I hope the seven of swords doesn't come out. We shall see. Oh, Scorpio, let's go. Let's see what I get. Recently clear items for my Scorpios. The cards are stick. Oh boy, cards are sticking. No, that's it. Now, there are more people involved in this for sure. Look, there are too many people. Hey, three queens is gossip. Look, I just want to tell you one thing. There are many people involved in this, and that's why there's so much of conflict. You're obsessed with somebody who's involved with many people. I don't know who this is. One is a business person. One is earth energy. One is sword energy. This is a queen of swords. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aggressive, a divorcee, bitter, cold, calculated. Somebody who speaks. I mean, this energy is vicious. Somebody who's probably even got mental or bipolar issues. I don't know who this is. Huh? And then you have a queen of cups. Okay. This is again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Sweet, loving, motherly, affectionate. Somebody who wants to give love. There are too many people in this business. That's why there is conflict. There are too many and three women for me. Three queens is gossip and this card, okay? The page of cups is also a card about gossip. This is about gossip. Now, 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 now. Who is this master manipulator? There's somebody pulling the strings here. You do not know that. You do not know that. Now, you want a victory. Somebody is trying to manifest a victory with someone. This is the six of wands. This is Leo energy. Somebody who wants a victory in a situation. Are there three women fighting? If I flip this reading, are three women fighting to win one guy? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there's some gossip in a situation. Somebody has heard some gossip. Maybe friends went going out drinking together, these three queens. I wonder if they're all crushing on one night. Oh, boy. There's something about an obsession and a crush in this reading that's very strong. And somebody is trying very hard to get this victory. And this is somebody who also has a bit of an ego. As you can see, this person is being applauded by their peers. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who has a good social media presence. You know, there's somebody who, who people look up to, but this person has a lot of ego. And I know that because I have the sun, you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody who has this Leo placement. The sun is, you know, uh, your creative projects, your children. There is an energy of children here to perhaps somebody is a mom. 
But this card tells me that also something will be brought to light because the sun is what? The, the light giving source and force of the universe. The sun is also about just happiness childishness, playfulness. It's the heart, your anahata energy. There's somebody who's got this, a strong Leo placement. You have so many major arcanas. This is yours, Scorpio. You know, this inner truth is somebody going within and understanding what they're doing here. Because there are too many people in this business. You're going to have to change something. Because you have been conducting a certain, you know, uh, a theme in your life about love, because this is about love matters. That was the first card. Why you keep pushing, 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 chasing, 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 chasing something. You're obsessed. You're crushing on someone. I wonder, you know, I wonder if these three queens are not, I don't know why I felt the need to say laughing at you. Look, I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry, but I felt that. And they know, you know, they're taking you for a ride. I'm going to ask for one more card. I want to ask for one more card. Tell me why, Scorpio. I have another message that I want to give you. And this is not about love. Scorpios. Thank you. Another major arcana, the fool. Aries. Pisces. What? No one had the hanging man, sorry. Pisces energy. Now, I have the four and the five of cups. Somebody has lost something. I wonder if there's been interference in a home with three women. And you were showing up as younger. Are you dealing with three women in a home where there is gossip, there is fights, there is conflict? You know, somebody here is, is, is so obsessed with something. This energy of you not even looking at this huge cup that the, the, the you know, universe is handing out to you. You're just obsessed. You've had a heartbreak. Some kind of a breakup, you're absorbed. Somebody here is absorbed. You know, that I felt that you are just focused on something. You've lost something, yeah, guys. Is this in a home? Either you're scared to lose something, you know, I think you've lost something and you just believe that this is a missed opportunity. What have you lost, Scorpio? Can you let me know? I'm getting this energy of somebody being absorbed with something that they have lost and they believe that nothing can be, you know, just grief, loss, sadness. You're obsessed with something. And you feel if this doesn't work out, your life is over. It's a missed opportunity. You're unhappy in a home. Is there conflict in a home? Are you dealing with three women? Is there fighting in a home with three women involved? But there's somebody here who's manipulating this and there's somebody here who's creating conflict. The magician card, the lower vibration is somebody who's manipulating, trickster. Some of you are in this energy where you feel you've lost the opportunity of a lifetime. Remember that card, be open to new possibilities. Are some of you scared of losing a child? I want to put this out there too. Some of you are scared to lose a child. This page of cups could be your world. And I'm talking to a younger Scorpio here. There is interference in a home with three women involved. And there's fighting going on. And you're obsessed with keeping something together to the exclusion of everything else. And you're obsessed that if you will lose, I don't know why I feel you're scared to lose a child or you're scared that you will lose having that child in your life. You won't. This ending will only be an ending of you giving too much and doing too much. Catch your breath. Because there is a bountiful harvest waiting for you. Don't be scared to lose any child. Archangel Michael is here. And this is about tempering. Sagittarius card. It's about you bringing something into balance. There is a total imbalance here. There's a five of wands. There's a five of swords. And you're dealing with women who are manipulative. There are three women manipulating a situation in a home. 
and somebody here is obsessed that they will lose. I think it's a custody over a child. I feel this. But these women, they are manipulating a situation. Maybe the three sisters, I do not know. And you can't sleep. You're scared about something here. And you're scared to bring this to an end. Archangel Michael here is coming in and telling you to temper the situation. He is there to help you. He's going to give you justice. He's going to help you bring balance. You're doing too much. Catch your breath. Now, I also want to tell you that this hanging man, you've been in this, this situation, Pisces, not taking a decision. But, you know, for me, this card of inner truths, you know, the hanging man looks like he's hung in suspension upside down, but there's a halo around his head. His, his shahasara is being activated, his ajna, his crown. He's thinking. He's trying to find another perspective. Some of you are going to do this. You are going to do this. And you know, when, when this, this is the last card, right? Pisces is the 12th house. And then when he comes to the conclusion with all the light he gets, you know, that clarity, because Pisces is about confusion. Somebody's keeping you confused here on purpose or somebody is perhaps giving you a smoke screen, blowing smoke into your face that they will do this or this can happen and you've been stuck. But when the sun comes None of the clouds can stay. This Neptunian fog dissipates. The journey of the fool begins because you're going to have a choice. You are. This three of wands is somebody who's waiting for their ships to come in. You put in those two wands. Okay? But you're waiting for growth and expansion. Somebody's just kept you waiting. You know, there is some manipulation going on here in a home and there are three women involved. There are three women involved, and I think you're stuck in that. So what I'm going to do, Scorpio, I'm going to take some cards from a mystical oracle deck. This is a very thin deck, just plain messages. Comment below, let me know, Scorpio. There are three women here, very intelligent, manipulative. And this one, one of them is very bitter. This could be three sisters. I think this is a story of three sisters, and this is a story of a home. Somebody is scared that they will be either thrown out of a home or they will lose the custody of their children. There could be three sisters and one of them is a divorcee. One of them is a divorcee. You will not lose your child or the custody of your child if that's what you're worried about. So be it. Do not worry. The sun card is here. Trumps every card in the deck. Give me some messages from that spot here, please. Thank you. Wow. No. Let me start with these, okay? Look. You are very strong in this reading, the death card. This is your card, Scorpio. This relationship is over, Scorpio. That's what this card says. You are not willing to let it go. You are obsessed with holding on to it. The relationship is over. There are no second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. This relationship is over. But some of you are just doing too much. You know, catch your breath. This is over. You are still fighting to keep it. stabbing. Somebody here has played you. Somebody here has played you. I don't know if the person you're dealing with has embezzled money or if they're dealing with more people and you found out, but there are three women here, three women, and they're manipulating and playing you. Heartbreak, pain, separation, loss, deception, lies, and shocking attack. This energy. I think you're just shocked to find out the depth of this person's betrayal and deception. The runner. There's something about chasing and running here. The more you run after this person, okay, it's like you're chasing them. I told you, you're doing too much. Remember that card? Get your breath. Stop. And that's why the temperance card is here. Archangel Michael is telling you to stop and temper and bring balance. 
fear of intimacy, running away, letting go, turmoil and fleeting. There's somebody here who's holding on to something that is dead. And there are three women who are creating conflict in a home. And they could be sisters. You need to do this. You know, this inner truth, healing, your self-worth, value, time to heal, do the shadow work, self-appreciation. You've not been appreciate, appreciated. You've not. Okay? Somebody has, to, and you know, I think you're showing up as somebody younger. Somebody has just, in a home, this has been hell for someone. You need the stability, security. You know, this card of performance. just want to give you a message. This fear of intimacy. Has there been some issues with intimacy and sex in a relationship? Somebody has got some performance anxiety here. I don't know why this message is coming through. Comment below and let me know. Please, Scorpio. I'm getting this message loud and clear. There has been no stability in a relationship. And I think your self-worth has been, like I felt these three women laughing. Can I say something? I don't feel good saying this, but has somebody been made fun of in their, you know, I don't know how to put this in their powers in bed, not powers. I don't know the word here. Yeah, and their sexual performance, yes. Has somebody been bullying you? It's like three women gossiping and laughing. Okay. All right. I want to tell you, be open. New experiences and possibilities because there's a bountiful harvest waiting for you. You're going to meet somebody, coffee cup, meeting and talking, you know, savoring the moment, feeling elevated. You know, feeling elevated for that, you've got to be down. There's a friend around you. There is a friend around you who's going to help you through this unconditional love. This is what you're going towards. Blowing a kiss, fairness and love, affection returned. This relationship, you've got zero. No security, no stability. And somebody's been making fun of your performance. I don't know how I'm going to title this reading, Scorpio. And I do not say this in any, you know, when I'm talking about this message, it just came to me. Yeah. Somebody's been made fun of in their bed, in their sex performance. And there are three women, you're gossiping and laughing. Whenever the three queens comes out, it's about gossip. There are three sisters. I feel this. Give me one more message for my Scorpio. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stalking. There is an energy of some obsession. I don't know whose energy this is. If this is you because something has broken down and maybe you've been thrown out of a relationship or a home and you're stalking this person to see what's going on there, this could be you or this could be somebody who really loves you and is stalking you and is going to come in to help you. I'm telling you this, you know, this cutting ties and moving on. You've been waiting and waiting for something to happen here. You have, you've been, you've been stuck in the mud. Moving on, receive what you need, progression and arriving. You have been waiting at the dock. Somebody has been kept waiting. Somebody has been wearing a mask. You know, I feel the person you're dealing with is dealing with more people, Scorpio. And the three women in this, in this whole situation are manipulating something. And there's somebody who's been bullied and made fun of. And I think that is a younger Scorpio. But you have three women in your business and they could be sisters and they've been wearing a mask. And the person you love or the person you're with has been juggling. They've been wearing a mask. They're not what they're making themselves out to be. You are heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, feeling lost after a breakup. This energy. You are obsessed with this breakup. Now, 
you are obsessed to such a point that you you are willing to do anything to bring it back do not because you're dealing with three people who are manipulating you and the situation there's somebody who could be dealing with more people and you have been belittled in a home by these three women and they're gossiping and laughing about you i can't get that message off you have a master manipulator in your midst we need to know the sun card is here the sun card is here if you're worried about your child or getting custody do not worry secondly clarity is going to come to you no more fog this person has kept you stuck with crap they also have a hell of an ego i just want to take one major arcana card okay i know the death card has come out here twice in your reading oh no and that's your card spot yours One more, please. One more. Temptation. You know, this is Saturn, Saturnian Capricorn. You could be, you, you are in a marriage. You have the Hierophant here, Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune bounce. There is a bountiful harvest waiting for you. Do not be scared to end this cycle. The wheel is turning in your favor for once. If somebody has been manipulating you, keeping you stuck and scared, and they're making fun of you. Do you know that behind closed doors, there's gossip about you in your home? This temptation, perhaps they kept you stuck, but there's something about sex and you being inadequate. I can't get over this. But there's a kind of obsession again, Capricorn. see marriage now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some kipper kipper cards for you uh, to see if there is any additional messages that i can give you scorpio my heart goes out to you if somebody's been making fun of you in bed and they are juggling you by the way hi kipper give me some messages for my scorpio please kipper thank you one more card there is a divorce that's going on here there is a divorce that's going on here i'm sure about it <clears throat> somebody's going through a divorce and they've had a breakup but they're obsessed they're obsessed and they, they they just can't let go even though they've been treated badly even though there is deception they can't let go and i think it's because of a child they feel they will lose that child there's been some message of concern that has come in i don't know what this is but if it's about help do not worry i have the sun card here and i feel i feel if you're worried that they will not give you the custody of your child do not worry there is grand bon or and this is like the sun card you know this is the best card in the deck it's like the wheel of fortune you got the wheel of fortune you got the sun and you got this card do not worry somebody here has also had financial problems now what i need you to know is that there are two people here an older woman and a gentleman okay but there's somebody on somebody's mind somebody else there is people in your bit of too many characters here i cannot get, cannot get over that i want to one more card you know for my situation tarot deck yeah um i feel somebody is being bullied in a home Oh, somebody's going to feel shame if 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 you know people talk about you know them being bad in bed why am i getting this message that inadequacy and that performance is kind of just you know i'll take one more card okay thank you still one more card for my scorpios please oh boy all right Copy your comment below. Let me know what you're going through, please. I want to hear from you. I knew it. Copy your look. 
Remember, I told you when the three queens come out. Together, it is always about gossip. There is gossip going on about somebody in a home. And there are three women who are doing this. They have ruined your life. And you are in a breakup. You are going through something legal. It's going on right under your nose. I don't know if they have, uh, what's that called? <clears throat> insinuated that you, you've done something with money because we know the two of pentacles could be ups and downs of money. Maybe they have, you know, um, what is that, falsely accused you of something with money? I don't know. But I think you were stuck in this because your finances were less. You're showing up as a knight. They're showing up as a queen. And you know who you're dealing with? Remember I told you when this, this one comes out? Drama queen. Drama queen. You've been stuck in this cycle with this, this terrible energy. This is, look at this person. They believe that they are the best and they have two more enablers. That's this card, you know, of being enabled. They like to be on stage and they have those two sisters of theirs. You're dealing with somebody in a home who's being enabled by their siblings and the three women involved. And they have taken you I mean, ill-treated you, my God, Scorpio. Please, please come and let me know what you're going through. You know, I'm going to read this card two ways. Some of you could be drinking a lot. Somebody here has got drinking addiction and problems. But I'm also going to say that somebody here could be partying. And that could be these three women, you know, going out drinking. Okay, gossiping. But I also feel some of you are going to take a gamble. Because you know, the more you stay stuck in this, there is no scope for change. You see, dead end. You got to stop beating that dead horse. Okay. This relationship is over. I know you're heartbroken, but you got to stop. You got to stop, Scorpio. Archangel Michael here is coming here to tell you, you got to stop. I'll take some oracle cards for you. Let's see what the angels want to tell you. Oh, my God. Can you clear guidance for my Scorpios, please? My Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. I'll tell you what your cards are. Angelite, spiritual or religious community. You know that <clears throat> hierophant, maybe some of you have stayed stuck because of your beliefs. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. You can go to your church, to your wherever you believe in, temples, whatever you believe in, priest, and talk to somebody. You will get support. Sugi light, own your divine power. There are so many cards about taking your power back. Somebody has felt demasculated, emas I don't know that word, huh? emasculated. Somebody has made fun of somebody's masculinity here. Scorpio, and there are three women who've done it periodically, systematically breaking somebody down. My heart goes out to you, okay? Scorpio, if you are resonating with this, Sending you a big hug. All right. Replace codependent. Remember that you have been doing too much to please somebody. Stuck for money, children, perhaps sex, all those, you know, the temptation card, the Capricornian card, Saturn, the devil has kept you stuck in a codependent relationship in that hamster wheel. The wheel of fortune is yet. Do not forget that, Scorpio. Replace codependent, people-pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. Again, empowerment. Very dope. Life lessons. This is so karmic. You learned your lesson. Do not be marginalized by somebody. If you feel devalued, bounce. Don't let them treat you like this. You've been ill-treated. Ill-treated in a home. Somebody's, somebody's masculinity has been made fun of. I don't like that. It's terrible. It's a distorted feminine. Trauma queen. You don't have to wear a crown and roam around, right? And they have their enablers with them, living with them. 
you can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. This is your life lesson. This is a karmic relationship. The trick is to know if it is a lesson or a blessing. And you've understood. You've understood. Unikite. Answered prayers. This is, these are all those cards of the bountiful harvest. New possibilities which are available to you. Grand bonher. All this. A wheel of fortune. This is all this. Jupiter coming in. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Archangel Michael in the house. Okay. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. Do not feel you're not supported. You'll be surprised because that card of going to your community you will get support. Scorpio, if some of you are going through this where you've been ridiculed in a home, emasculated, your masculinity has been made fun of, you have support. And do not be scared about losing any kind of custody battle for your children. Nothing and no one can separate you from your kids, okay? And I will set intentions for you. This is your story. My darling Scorpios, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Comment below. Keep the conversation going and I will make it a point to respond back to you. I cannot wait to come back and do another reading for you. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you. Namaste. Bye.